Hello and welcome to this health information channel. I am Dr. Apostle Diadigite and the program is Clinic Annex. On Clinic Annex, I answer frequently asked questions so that I can reach a wider audience and benefit more people. Today, I want to give attention to breast lumps. A lot of women that have lumps in their breasts do not bother to report them because such lumps are painless. And because they are painless, somebody feels they should be harmless. That is not necessarily true. A lot of harmful lumps are painless in the beginning. And by the time they become painful, it may be too late to get a cure. And the rule in getting a cancer cured is in catching it early and treating it early. That is why as soon as you feel a lump in your breast, please present to the doctor. Women with painful lumps usually on the average present earlier for obvious reasons. But those that have painless lumps may tarry a while. Please do not do this so that you can get a cure just in case we are dealing with a cancer. Now, what is the best investigation to do if you have a lump in your breast? Some women are in the habit of going for mammograms. Mammogram is not what you need when you already have a lump in your breast. What you need, I will tell you very soon. But the reason why you shouldn't go for a mammo is that the results can come back as normal even for a cancerous lump. I have seen it happen before. A woman who felt a lump in her breast went to the hospital, but somebody advised her to go for a mammogram. She went for a mammogram and the results returned as normal. She was happy, she went about her business as usual, but months later she returned to the hospital with metastatic advanced cancer. The cancer had spread to other parts of her body and she missed out on getting a cure, even though she reported the lump early. I'm not condemning mammograms. I have done a mammogram myself before, but I'm saying that if you don't have a lump, feel free to go for a mammo. Mammograms pick lesions in advance that we as clinicians cannot pick. That is the strength of mammograms. But once you have a lump, what you need is different. So if you have a lump, go to a doctor. Request that that lump be taken out. It doesn't matter what your age is. Young people can also have cancers. So please ask that that lump be taken out. If it is a small lump, the entire thing can be taken out. It is called excisional biopsy. But if it is a big one, they will take a portion of it out. It is called incisional biopsy. Whichever biopsy you do, they, you will be presented with a specimen. That specimen is to be taken to the laboratory for analysis. Some women are in the habit of throwing such specimen away. Some will bury them. Some can even flush them down the toilet. Please do not do any of those because we can miss out on a helpful information that can save life. So what you, you should do is take it to the laboratory for analysis. Your histology results, once it is ready, please return to the hospital with it so that your doctor can interpret your result. The doctor will tell you whether it is a harmless lung or a harmful one. If you are told that it is harmless, say a fibroadenoma, then congratulations to you because the treatment ain't there. Unless, of course, it reoccurs because it can reoccur. If it reoccurs, then you will repeat the process. But if it is a cancerous lump, your treatment has not begun. You have to now see an oncologist. Oncologists are doctors that specialize in cancer management. They may be physicians or surgeons. They will map out a treatment plan for you that is ideal for you. Whatever they tell you, please do because it will save your life. But if you don't like what they're saying and you want a second opinion, it is allowed in medicine, but do not waste time. Make sure that you're saying uh, the next doctor uh, shortly after you have seen the first one. Do everything in quick succession so that you can get a cure. Now, whatever, if two or three doctors are saying the same thing, then you can conclude that they know what they're doing and then you should follow their advice. Every woman should examine their breast once in a month at least. If you examine your breast, if you are still menstruating, examine your breast a week after your period. If you are menopausal, you are no longer menstruating, just pick a date in the month that you will examine your breast. Say first Sundays of the month so that you do not forget. It is called self-breast examination and it should be done once a month. Clinical breast examination is the one you ask the doctor to do for you. 
Please do that at least once in six months. Thank you very much for your time. Please like and share this video. Share with every woman you know, because together we can save a life. Share with the men too, because they do have wives and mothers and sisters and daughters. And please put your comments and your questions in the comment section or on the WhatsApp number showing on your screen. It is a WhatsApp number. Do not call it, please. I will attempt to answer a few of those questions in my next video. Please subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss any of the educative videos that will be uploaded here. And I assure you, they are going to be very educative. Until I come your way next time, please always remember that good health is great wealth. Please stay blessed and be safe. Bye.